Okay, Jerry, making this tape here for you. Um, these were the uh, spare uh, tail light rims that uh, I found for you. Um, there's one of the uh, valve covers. It's, it's fairly new. The other valve, valve covers were these here. They're brand new. They just sent them to me by mistake. Um, there's the other brand new air filter for it. Uh, the set of 1262 intake gaskets. The, uh, the console is underneath here. I got it detected here. Um, there's a spare spark plugs set for you. Here's a um, here's the distributor here. It's a nice 87 8579 needs a cap. It's all it needs. And uh, like I said, maybe uh, fix that module on it. But other than that, it's a good distributor. And it's pretty nice. Um, this was the extra water pump pulley, it's the aluminum one, looks pretty nice. And another set of gauges that were brand new, these are auto gauge, they're, they're pretty nice in there. This is the spare distributor, this is the tack that was on the car, it's new, it's an auto gauge. You got a coil down in there. Cap. As you can see, this is a Protronics distributor setup. And an FD cap on it. So that's all. It's all there for that. So that's everything in the trunk. And I'll try to get the back end picture where I took a redid it. So I think it looked better like that. And the back end of it. Um, come around. This is a new type, new wheel that are on it. And came over here. These are the, the rear rims, and I don't know if you can see the disc brakes. The disc brakes on the front of it. Um, okay, I changed the spark plug wires. It's got the Taylor race wires on it now. They're nicer, they look better than those gray ones. The first video that's the four inch air cleaner on there, and got the carburetor, new carburetor with a line, and everything on it. Looks pretty good. Battery, new alternator, the spare one's in the back seat on the floorboard there. It was brand new. This is all the stuff here. And it looks like, I believe that's where the heaters connect there. It looks like some hoses or something there. So there I guess the, there are elements in there. You just got to put the hoses on it, I guess, if you wanted to get into that. And then the water pump there. So that's about it. So that's what the wheels look like. The bumpers are in here. I've covered them up with a, covered them with blankets and stuff so they wouldn't scratch anything or seats or anything. So I've got them back here. And I think this is a different steering wheel. This is the one I put. It's a 15 inch. The one that you've seen in the first video is in the um, is in the trunk also. If you want to put it back on there, but it's steered easier with this one here. Um, there's the uh, spare alternator. Came with a car. Alright, now I come in here. And these are the three gauges. This one, let's see, oh, that's, this is a fuel pump here, the first one. I got it marked here. This is the ignition. That's the uh, courtesy light. And this is for your fan. Turn the fan on. So if I turn this on, let's see, I must be it on here. Okay, that's the fan. I don't know if you can hear it or not. And then your fuel pump is there. And the ignition is there. If you want to take that out, you could just re put it back into the thing, but I think you're better off. And this was the uh, courtesy lamp over here on the passenger side, if something was a drop. 
Dolomite does work. It's just uh, not very bright, but it does work. So, so I'll just turn this on, turn the ignition on. Cold, but it starts right up. The alternator light still works on it. That's all. It's still hooked up, so it works with it. When you turn the key on, it only works. Then, when you start it, it goes out because it's charging. Um, this is the windshield wipers. They work. Um, it's a fan. Close. Here, blows hot air. Fan works. That's blowing air. Now it's blowing air out of the uh, vents. So I guess I can feel the air coming out of there now. So I got the heater. Everything works. You just got to hook the hoses to it. That's the fan turned off, so it's, it's quiet. Fan's a little noisy, but that's about it. So everything other than that, and then I, like I said, I use VR1 racing oil in the engine, and I believe I had some of it left. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's the type I use right there. You can see it here. The R1 racing oil. That's why I put it in there. It's a little bit left. I'll use up something else. And so I guess that's, that's about it. I'll just give you a quick walk around of it. The picture over there. <laughs> 